Welcome back. A second person has been arrested in connection with that attack on a Senator Marco Rubio canvasser from this week. This is 26 year old Jonathan Alexander Casanova arrested just yesterday in Miami Beach. Now police say Casanova along with the suspect 25 year old Javier Lopez were blocking a sidewalk where this man the victim 27 year old Christopher Monzon was trying to pass up flyers. They then reportedly slammed the victim to the ground. As you can see, he's severely injured in his face. Police say they punched him. They kicked him. Uh, the canvasser was hospitalized, suffering head fractures and other injuries. This is happening in Hialeah. Um, obviously, a big concern about people out on the streets just trying to uh, canvas for their candidate. A lot to talk about. Joining us now about the political climate leading into the midterms, retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, a former congressman, of course, as well, and the senior advisor for Patriot Academy. Colonel West, it's always great to have you in. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks for having me, Bianca. It's a pleasure. Well, you know, this was um, a really upsetting story that we were playing here as breaking news. And obviously, no one wants to see any violence play out on the streets, no matter if you're left or you're right. We've got 13 days to go, but it seems like, Colonel West, there are so many heightened tensions in America that some people feel emboldened that they can act like this. Yes, yeah, a very sad state of affairs in the United States of America. But when you're dealing with progressive socialists, Marxist communists, they can only further their agenda, their ideological plans by threats, coercion, intimidation, and ultimately violence. But yet you hear nothing coming from the mainstream media or the people on the left condemning this type of violence, which is really a threat to democracy when you're attacking a canvasser who is out there utilizing his First Amendment rights, or you find uh, what happened not too long ago when someone opened fire on Republicans that were practicing for a baseball game, or what's even more egregious are the attacks on pro-life centers and the 80-year-old woman in Michigan who was shot going out there and passing out literature because she was pro-life. But yet, you have this organization, Jane's Revenge, that is out there torching pro-life pregnancy centers, but yet there is no FBI raid against the leadership of Jane's Revenge, but yet a pro-life activist can have an FBI raid against him. So the hypocrisy is very dangerous, and uh, we should not have this two-tier system of justice. You're right, and uh, the right loves, uh, the left loves to talk about how extreme the right is, yet we mm. see uh, these attacks. A Marco Rubio canvasser, clearly, um, they knew what side he was on. Like you just mentioned, a grandmother, it could be anyone's grandmother, shot in the back just walking away from a, a doorstop in Michigan. Um, it calls into attention something that also broke today. I want to get your reaction. Justice Samuel Alito said that the leak of the draft that he wrote has put justices at the risk of a assassination. That was his word. Um, he spoke at the Heritage Foundation yesterday. Let's play a little bit of that. The leak also made those of us who were thought to be in the majority in support of overruling Roe and Casey targets for assassination. Colonel West, at the time, um, I'm sure you recall the Biden administration, Jen Psaki from the podium was saying, no, it's okay to protest at the Supreme Justice's homes. This is just their mm -hmm. right when someone with a gun showed up outside Justice Kavanaugh's home. Yeah, and that's a complete violation of U.S. statute and code. But think about this. We had a sitting member of the United States Senate who just happens to now be the majority leader. That's Chuck Schumer, who stood up and he said that uh, they would not know what would hit them and they would reap the winds. And he was addressing that toward uh, Justices Gorsuch and also Kavanaugh. He listed their names specifically. But yet you saw no investigation into him. And, you know, we cannot continue down this path where they give cover to the progressive socialists to go out and do the things that they're doing, attacking people. And again, you want to talk about a threat to democracy when you are making assassination plots and attempts against Supreme Court justices, when you are purposefully someone leaked that uh, draft memo out so that they could stir up the left and you saw the protests and things that continue on to this day. Again, we talked about the James Revenge attack against pro-life uh, pregnancy and advocacy centers. This has to stop and this has to end. And every time the left calls the right extremists, they are probably just looking at themselves in the mirror. I think it's called projection. I'm not a psychology major, but yeah, uh, exactly. And we still don't know, of course, who the leaker is of this draft. Uh, funny how that should be uh, the case there, because our uh, Justice Department perhaps a little more focused on other things like raiding Mar-a-Lago. While we look ahead, though, we, as we said, I think, did we just lose Colonel West? 
Ah, uh, okay, he's back. Real quick, final word. Um, we want some rational minds. We want the political process to pay, play out, obviously, as we hit the midterms with peace. You know, the agree to disagree. This is, you know, our, our political system here. Everyone's going to the polls. Any thoughts here, uh, Lieutenant uh, Colonel West? Yeah, let's respect each other's constitutional rights. We have the freedom of speech, not freedom of accepted speech. We have the freedom of expression, not granted expression. We have the right to petition our government for redress of grievances, and we have the right to peacefully assemble. And so let's respect those rights, regardless of your ideological bent. But what we see happening right now is that the left is resorting to the Solomonsky Rules for Radicals playbook, uh, and we cannot be intimidated or coerced. And now they're going after Christians and demonizing them as Christian nationalists. That's the next line of attack. Yeah, we've already seen some of that with the uh, Doug Mastriano campaign. That's a label the media really likes to put on with him. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel West, always great to have you in. Appreciate uh, your time today, sir. Let's do it again soon. My pleasure, Bianca. Thank you so much. Thank you.